Hello. Today we are going to see how to remember this trigonometric value. We don't need to remember all this stuff. We just need to remember this three triangle. The value of this three triangle. This is A, B, and C triangle. Over here you can find this angle is 30 and this is a 60 and this is a right angle. Here in that angle, A, B, C. Angle 0 and angle 90 and angle 45 and angle 45. Okay. So here we will we'll take the value 1, 2 and root 3. So if you go for the sign 30, so it will be opposite side is 1 upon hypotenuse. So it will become 1 upon 2. If you go for the sign 60, so opposite side it is root 3 upon hypotenuse, which is 2. If you go here in 0, what will happen? Opposite side upon hypotenuse. So it comes 0 upon 1. 0 upon 1 is equal to 0. Now go for the 90. Opposite side upon hypotenuse. So 1 upon 1. It becomes 1. Now go for the 40, you can start from here as well as from here. You we'll go from the here. So opposite side upon hypotenuse. So 1 upon root 2. Now we we'll go for the cos. Let's see cos 30. Cos 30 is an adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So here is a root 3 upon 2. Now go for the sign uh, cos 60. Here, opposite side upon, sorry, adjacent side upon hypotenuse, 1 by 2. Now, we go for the cos 0. Cos 0 is a adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So, 1 upon 1, it becomes 1. Now, cos 90, adjacent side upon hypotenuse. So, 0 upon 1. 0 upon 1 becomes 0. Now, 45. Adjacent side upon hypotenuse, 1 upon root 2. Now, let's see the value of 10. 10 is a, suppose you go for the 10, 30. So, opposite side upon hypotenuse. So, 1 upon root 2. Sorry, root 3. Here, 60. So, opposite side upon adjacent side root 3 upon 1 now we go for the tan 0 here is 0 so opposite side upon adjacent side 0 upon 1 it becomes 0 what about 90 opposite side upon adjacent side opposite the 1 and on zero, so it will become infinite. It is not cannot define. It's an infinite. Now go for the forty-five opposite side upon adjacent side. So it's one upon one. It becomes one. Now as we know that sine cosine is the inverse of the sine. Sine is the inverse of cot, cos and cot is the inverse of tan. So let's see. Cos it, it would be 2 upon 1. So it is a 1. For sec 30, the 2 upon root 3. Now for the cot 30, it is a root 3 upon 1. So it is a root 3. Now go by here. <coughs> Cosec 60, 2 upon root 3. Sec 60, 2 upon 1 becomes 1. Now cot 60, so 1 upon root 3. Now we we'll go for the cosec 0, so sin 0 is a 1 upon 0. 1 upon 0 becomes infinite. Now for sec 0, here is 1 upon 1 becomes 1. Or 0, 
So n0 is of 0 upon 1, so you 1 upon 0. So it becomes infinite. Then go for the cosec 90, 1 upon 1 becomes 1. Sec 90, so 1 upon 0 becomes infinite. And cot number cot 90, so 1 up, 0 upon 1. And go for the 45, so cosec 45 root 2 upon 1 becomes root 2 sec 45 becomes root 2 upon 1 becomes root 2 and what 45 here this 1 upon 1 is a 1. So that was the idea of how to remember this trigonometric value, don't bother about these values, you can just log it up, this three triangle with the value 1, 2 and root 3, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, root 2. If you know this three triangle, on the measure of this three triangle, you can make the whole table over here. So don't bother about the trigonometric value, it's very easy. So easy to remember. Don't mug it up. Don't mug it up. Yes, you need to mug it up this three triangle, not all the stuff. Okay. Thank you, friends.